if you find yourself in a church that is not focusing on evangelism, again, there are two levels to this. One is you can recognize that your church may not be primarily evangelistic. Perhaps they're more about teaching. In which case, I hope you would be a part of saying to that church, well, let's not forget evangelism. Let's not forget about bringing in the lost and sharing the gospel with them or going out and finding the lost and sharing the gospel with them. So at one level, there's recognizing that it may be to a lesser or greater degree than some other church you've been a part of. But on the other level, if your church is not focusing on evangelism, recognizing that God may have you in that congregation to improve the church and help the church accomplish what it should be called to do uh, is should be a priority for you. So in, the, in one sense, I'm saying do not abandon your church just because it doesn't do things the way it ought to or the way you believe it ought to. And on the other level, I'm saying don't abandon the effort to influence your church to go in the right direction. But it's not a, it's not a case where you should say, if you don't do evangelism the way I believe or with the focus I believe you should have on it, then I'm going to take my toys and go home. That should be your home. You should be committed to your community in the faith. And the fact that they might disagree with you in one uh, church conference or business meeting, whatever you call it, or in one journey group or a life group or a Bible study or Sunday school session, whatever you'll call it, whatever that group is, the fact that they might say no at first doesn't mean they won't go home and think about it. They will have a long-term influence on a congregation so that they want to share the gospel more as they see you sharing the gospel more.